Hi everybody, welcome back to Be Rich. Yesterday or day before, we must have spoken about a video about physical and monetary policy. So today on that same band with, I thought I'll talk about something interesting and pick Anand's brain about what is this uh, economists keep talking about purchasing power and pricing power, Anand. Okay, I think you read a Buffett. Yes. Buffett talks about pricing power hmm. and economics talks of purchasing power. Hmm. First, let me deal with purchasing power. Hmm. Now let's take uh, India where hmm. both of us live. Right. Suppose you had uh, 70 rupees hmm. two years back, hmm. you could have bought one liter of petrol, hmm. you didn't need that liter of petrol, hmm. you decided to put the money in the bank hmm. or any basket of goods hmm. because petrol you know it was 70. Hmm. Now for two years you got 5% and 5% interest. Hmm. So you got 73 and a half, hmm. 78, 70, everything put together you got 78. Hmm. You take 78 and today you want to fill petrol. You go to the bank, he will give you only okay. three, three quarters of a liter. Hmm. Now you wanted to buy egg. Hmm. You had 70 rupees. Those hmm. th I think it was three rupees at that time. No, man, not even cheaper. Then assume three rupees. Hmm. So you would have got 20 eggs and you would have got 10 rupees in your hand. Yes. Now you have 79. How many eggs? You won't even get uh, 20 eggs. No. So this is the problem. People, this is purchasing power, the ability to buy egg, okay. the ability to buy petrol, okay. the or the same amount buy. of money hmm. over two years, three years time hmm. is purchasing power. Hmm. So economists say you have lost your purchasing, the rupee has lost its purchasing it's power. It's like losing your stamina. It's losing your stamina, it's your ability to buy. Hmm. So the ability to buy was there for liter of petrol, hmm. 20 eggs, hmm. keeping 10 bucks in balance. Hmm. Today, that money will not buy you, the including interest hmm. in a deposit, commercial bank deposit hmm. will not buy you the same bag of commodities. That's terrible. That is purchasing power. Hmm. So the rupee has lost its purchasing power. Hmm. Similarly, the dollar will lose its purchasing power. All currencies lose purchasing power. Because it's not we remove this from this, you should tell me remove it from gold. Pegging, that's because yes, that. because the government and the central bank in tandem hmm. can create how much our money they want. Understood. Okay. Before that, every amount of money created hmm. was pegged by gold. Hmm. So actually, physically, you needed you to have, have gold. Yeah, suppose I had 10 lakhs hmm. and I didn't believe the government. I could go deposit and ask for 10 lakhs of gold. Hmm. It's not pegged to gold. Correct. So this gave you two advantages. Hmm. It allowed you to create money and so it allowed you to expand the economy. Hmm. And this expansion could take place as long as people believed in that money had some value. Hmm. Now, if you rapidly deflate, hmm. if you rapidly inflate, hmm. people will not keep that currency. So, this is what it led to this purchasing power phenomenon. Phenomenon. It will delete. That is, so, in Zimbabwe, nobody will touch the Zimbabwe dollar. Correct. So, US dollar is what is running in Zimbabwe. Correct. So, the government has no control over... I even saw an interesting video on YouTube like that. One man went to a South American country. He saw the local currency, the room was going at some thousand local currency. He said, but he went and exchanged and paid in dollars. He took, instead of paying in dollars and putting on his credit card and paying 10,000 of the local currency, he went to the black market and exchanged actual greenback, where he was getting 150-200% more. Exactly. So, he actually discounted his dollar because of what you exactly said. So, what happens is, hmm. in countries like Peru, Ecuador and all that, dollar runs. This is called as dollarization. Hmm. Very true. That means the people don't trust the government to run the central bank to run a monetary policy. Correct. This so is the purchasing power. Because they deleted, they depreciated the power, purchasing power oh. too quickly. Correct. Same thing happened in Sri Lanka. That's what led to the crisis. Correct. If you want, you can further explain to it by saying, okay, example of a frog in a water. Hmm. Suppose there's a bucket of cold water hmm. and you put a frog, the frog is finding it very cold. Hmm. It will try to jump out, water is cold, but it will not die. Hmm. Then you decide to put a bomb hmm. on top of a firewood hmm. and burn that firewood. Initially, the f Frog will love it. Slowly getting warmer. It's slowly getting warmer. So, my, I'm getting, as a frog, you are getting more. You Correct. think the rest of us are all idiots. Only I am getting higher salary. Correct. Okay. Understood. It will be cooked without even knowing it being cooked. Uh, so, when it gets so boiled, 
you are cooked this is so this problem. is the loss of purchasing power hmm. this is what uh, is called as purchasing, purchasing. power hmm. right hmm. now we come to the Opposite. flip side hmm. flip side what is uncle warrens this is economics correct this is keynes correct now you are coming to uncle warren hmm. uncle warren wants to buy hmm. companies which have pricing power hmm. what is it ah, i'll tell you they have pricing power hmm. and uh, without and at very good prices if you feel buy hmm. suppose you bought itc at 134 hmm. is pricing power hmm. because if even in spite of itc rising cigarette prices hmm. people will smoke correct so buffett identifies companies like that hmm. coke increases its price by few cents hmm. people will grumble but still drink coke true so whenever input costs rise hmm. coke is able to pass it on to the consumer consumer there are brands like coke wrigley's mars cadbury's and all that where pricing power is so much they can pass on the price to the consumer consumer without suffering too much decline in volumes recently also you did a video about it instead of raising the price they made the product smaller no at least in that case they don't have pricing power okay pricing power is blatantly increasing the, the, the price. price okay people will still buy coke wrigley's pepsi less chips but why does warren buffett want these companies then? because in inflation i can increase the price no hmm. whenever inflation goes hmm. two choices i have to cut my input costs hmm. i have to big tighten my belt hmm. right but how much can you tighten the belt your margins will get hurt hmm. whereas if i have pricing power i can pass it on to the client hmm. and still tighten the belts and my margins will be more hmm. so you look for big brands hmm. which are pricing power okay this is when it's inflation but how do these big brands manage when there's stagflation going on stagflation also good no ah uh. what is stagflation market declines correct at the same time uh, inflation is high correct so input cost will come down correct stagflation recession so i'll get lower employee cost and everything mm. inflation is there i'll increase the pricing so power. your profit margins keep going up my profit margin will keep going up oh that's why uncle warren looks for that's this. why uncle warren looks for pricing power a company has a pricing power or not if a company does not have pricing power hmm. then that company is worthless hmm. so a company which has a pricing power is a company hmm. which can pass on cost increases and protect its margins hmm. examples i told you hmm. in case of india it is hmm. parle biscuits and other things hmm. if they want they can or your mtr tiffin hmm. or saravan bhavan had purchasing power for a long time hmm. till he started uh, cheating on sambar and chutney no no matter how much sambar chutney he gets people have now don't believe him anymore yeah but woodlands has managed to hang on that's very yes true that is woodlands has per uh, man price, also some brand loyalty is yes. pricing power pricing that is power. Power. true i agree on that thank you for watching beerage if you like this content hit the like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification if you do not turn on the bell notification you will not be notified if before we put out a video thank you for your support i want to thank all of you for supporting our event in oman with great enthusiasm a lot of people turned up in oman and a place where i am i don't have much influence i wish to thank all of you for your support the next event is going to be in qatar doha the event is scheduled for the last week of january those who would like to meet me in person in qatar doha or come to our event in doha can send their request to the mail id given below or contact the whatsapp number flashing on the screen my team will respond to you see you in qatar in the last week of jan it's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me I have written two books in English The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks Extraordinary Profits These books are published by us and are ready If you want to procure a copy send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you If you want an Amazon Kindle copy you can click the link below Finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com Once again I thank you for your support If you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification